Good day and welcome at KVV TV. My name is Dion van Wijk and our guest for the day is Mr. Steve van Wijk. He's the principal and the owner of Sieve Properties Centurion. Welcome Steve. Morning Dion, thanks very much. Thanks for joining us. Steve, I would like to ask you a few questions um, from your experience from an estate agent and a principal point of view. The yes. first question is, what is the uh, qualifications that an estate agent must have? Sure. All right. So many, many years ago, estate agents, uh, to become a full status agent, could become a full status agent either after 12 months of being an agent or writing the old estate agents board exam. That changed in 2008 and is now quite a process. So the first process is all agents have to register with the estate agents board and renew the registration annually. Secondly, every agent has to write the Further Education Training Certificate in Real Estate at NQF Level 4. That takes about 12 months and goes to the Services CETA. Plus they have to complete a logbook which goes to the Estate Agents Board. Once they've finished the NQF 4 and they've received their certificate from Services CETA, within two years of that certificate they have to write the Professional Designate Exam which is a four-hour exam, and I think the pass mark is about 70%. Once they've passed that exam on an ongoing basis every year, they have to do 20 hours worth of studying or attending lectures to accumulate 60 hours over a rolling three-year cycle. So that is how you become a full status agent. Uh, if you want to become a principal, then you have to go to the NQF level five, which is another year, and write the PDE 5 exam, which is also another year. And basically, my advice is to anybody dealing with an agent, is to ask them to produce their Fidelity Fund certificate, which will state their name, their reference number, and the year for which it's valid. Thank you. Pleasure. What would you say is, is the benefit for a potential buyer or seller to make use of the services of a state agent? Well, I don't think selling a house is an easy process to do it on your own because if it was easy, then clearly 99% of sales would be done by private individuals and we know that that's not the case. First of all, there's a lot of legal issues. There's lawyers involved, there's bond originators involved. So you need somebody that can guide you through the process of buying and also selling. So the estate agent, first of all, has a lot of knowledge about the industry and the attorneys which are involved, because you could have up to three different firms of attorneys involved in the process of having a house registered. Probably one of the most important things is pricing, because the, the seller of the property needs to get the house at the right level. If he overprices the house, it's never going to sell, because there's so many other properties competing in the market. In addition, the owner probably needs to spruce the house up, you can't just leave a house that needs a coat of paint or has a gutter falling off or paving it's uneven. So the agent has a lot of knowledge about how the owner can extract the maximum information, the maximum price out of selling the property. And then the agent is also trained to negotiate and clearly the agent's prime client is the seller, but then the buyer also becomes a client. So the agent at the end of the day has to ensure that both the seller and the buyer negotiate position where the price is fair to both parties. And in this process is where the agent can give advice after years of being in the business. And I think from the seller's point of view, most estate agency companies have a fairly big database of buyers looking to buy property. So the agent probably already has a potential buyer on their books. It's just a matter of getting the buyer to view the property and to be satisfied that that's the right property for them. Thank you. What um, advice would you give a buyer or seller that wants to start this process? So I think, you know, I think buyers, first of all, if they have an existing house, they need to probably get that house sold first. Because normally what happens is everybody thinks their house is worth more than what it actually is. So a buyer goes out looking for a new property based on what he thinks they're going to get for the existing property. And at the end of the day, they don't achieve the price that they think is worth. So it's worthwhile for a buyer to, first of all, get the existing property sold. 
Secondly, for buyers, the chances of the banks giving a 100% bond is very, very slight. So always be prepared to be able to put in up to a 20% deposit. That means that you'll have a better chance of securing a new property for yourself. Then there's also hidden costs. Many buyers come along and forget that there's transfer duty that has to be paid, which is basically a tax. Uh, and then there's also attorney fees, which have to be paid. And there's also fees that the banks charge. So this is also one of the things that, that agents can help with, is they can point out to any potential buyer what we call the hidden costs in the process of buying a house. Um, and then obviously, from a buyer's point of view, it doesn't help that you don't know what you're looking for. So they need to decide how many bedrooms, how many bathrooms, do they want a full title house, do they want a sectional title. Importantly is the area. So which area do they want to stay in? Because if you take Centurion, there's 75,000 properties. So unless you know what you're looking for in terms of bedrooms and bathrooms and garages and gardens um, and LARPers and things like that, and what area you want to be in. And clearly for many young people, they want to be in an area where there's good schools or there's good nursery schools. Many other people want to be in an area where they have access to highways because they work in Johannesburg. So a buyer needs to understand what they're looking for before they start looking. And then they also need to understand what, what is the price bracket that they can afford to buy in. Otherwise, they're going to run around left, right and center with agents um, and not focus on what they can afford to buy. Lastly, what is your forecast for 2018? Well, my forecast for 2018 now that we have a new president is very positive. I think the Gauteng market has stagnated quite significantly um, over the course of time. And we've seen a huge uh, move of people down to the Western Cape where governance has been a lot better. My own opinion is I think that if uh, the new president can stay in power for uh, 11 or 12 years, uh, I think um, with economic growth and with new jobs being developed, that we're going to have a fairly good market in Gauteng for the next 12 years or so. But if I can just go back to your previous question and that you asked me about buyers and about buyers and sellers, the most important thing for the, for the sellers to remember is that they've got to price their house at the right level. As I mentioned, most people think the house is worth more than it is. And so sellers tend to want to just test the market for a short while at the high price and all that they're doing is wasting time. It is far better to get the agent to assist you, to show you what the right price of the property is, taking into account the properties that have been sold around that particular property, and to price the house correctly from day one. That will then mean that the house will probably sell within six weeks. But the moment you overprice, uh, the house can stay on the market for six to 12 months. And of course, the longer it takes to sell a house, the longer the seller has to wait before he can buy a new property. So it's very important that the seller gets the advice of the agent regarding um, the price of the property, the competing properties in the area, and also the property needs to be spruced up. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, things like gutters and paint and um, uh, driveways and things like that, because at any given time in Centurion, there are approximately 600 houses on the market for sale every single month. Thank you for your time and the value. Our pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you for joining us at KVV TV. Should you require any for, uh, more information, kindly contact any of our offices or visit our website.